Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths Most Wanted and today we are covering the Scarlet Dawn again. Now there's an awful lot of Scarlet Dawn craft on the Most Wanted list which is not surprising because they are the final faction in the Nature campaign and so they've got a lot of stuff which is formidable, annoying and just plain hard to deal with. So, not too surprising. And this particular thing right here, which is currently doing a really tight corner as it just uh, hovers in place, not hovers, uh, circles in place, is the Nightmare. So we've covered the Omega Nightmare before. So the Omega Nightmare is, well, a missile spammy bomber type thing. And the Nightmare is kind of its more compact armored brother so it's there these two craft are quite similar so mega nightmare and nightmare in terms of how they function and in terms of like what they do they are pretty similar and dealing with them is pretty similar as well but there's a few key differences in how you deal with those two so what is this so what is the mega nightmare well according to past me who has written stuff down here it is a flying brick particle accelerator cannon bomber thruster craft so it is it's it is a bomber it is it flies over things and blows them to hell and back and so okay so what makes this thing annoying well the first and most obvious thing that's uh, let's just have you do that I just remembered I forgot to make a note here excuse me uh, sorry about that. I knew I was going to forget to mention that, that thing later. You will find out what that thing was. So, firstly, the most noticeable thing about this craft is that it is a solid lump of heavy armor. Like, and really densely layered. Like, on the underside, there are multiple layers of heavy armor, which is one, two, two layers, like, just on the sides here. And from some angles, there's more. So, right from the sides, there's... A beam here, a beam here, slope, beam and slope, layered metal, it just, it is got, it is one of those things that, uh, I don't know, if it wasn't a godly faction craft, you could be forgiven to think it's a bit of a new build, because new players sometimes go completely nuts with the heavy armor, but it's not a noob craft at all, really. And so that's, it also flies very very fast so if we do this and if we do this and if we do this uh, the speedometer in the corner you can see this thing is going up to about ooh, about oh whoa spiked up to yep about 180 uh, just over 180 meters per second so this is a fast thing this is for something that is what is the mass of this thing it's the mass is 4,000 so I tend to forget to look at mass a lot. It's also very expensive, thanks to all the heavy armor. Thanks to everything, really. It's armor, it's armament. It's like just shy of 200k, so it's an expensive beast. Not very big, though. 5,000, uh, just under 3,000 blocks, uh, just over 5,000 volume. It's very, very compact. It's one of those craft where if you look at it, like the insides almost exactly match the shape of the outside, with very little gaps, apart from this uh, armored pointy nose right here. So, it's uh, solid heavy armor pretty much. It flies very fast. It is armed with particle cannons. So already this is uh, gonna be a very known craft. And these are big, excuse you, these are very hefty uh, impact particle cannons. So, charge time, efficient overclock, slightly overclocked. Uh, not very, I think, what's it? Damage and accuracy one. So, very inaccurate, but very, very powerful, so... And energy use is a lot per shot, so... 136,000 per shot. Uh, range is irrelevant, because I think these things are set to fire very close. Initial damage, and this is thump damage, mind you, so it pretty much ignores... Actually, like, it's got higher than average thump uh, damage. Armor piercing value of 15, unless that hasn't been updated. 
one, uh, 103, no, uh, what is it? That's 1 million. Oh my god. So that is 1 million 37,400 uh, part of the cannon thumb damage. That is really very strong. And it's got two of these things. So if you go here, excuse me, freaking. Stop moving. There we go. And similar story over here, exact same numbers. And so those pack turrets, they hurt like hell. And in fact, because this thing is actually running out of fuel now, we'll demonstrate that with a solid lump of armor. So let's go here, 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 here. Kingstead. Kingstead is a great uh, target dummy. Simply because uh, it doesn't have much in the way of good offense, but it is a solid lump of metal. So if you ever want to test uh, the armor busting capabilities of a weapon or a craft, uh, the Kingstead is a very good choice. And I'm just going to spawn it on the honest one. Conveniently, it, this is the most recently updated Scarlet Dawn craft, according to this load menu right here, because going by date, it's right at the top. So right here, let's spawn that in. We there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Covers distances very fast. Uh, pretty hard to hit with anything that isn't particularly... Whoa! I wasn't expecting it. It aborted. Man. I spawned it on the same... T God! Dang it! I was th wondering what the hell was going on. Ugh, I'm... Durr. I have no excuse for that. I am high on caffeine. I've been prepared. I have had a day and a half to prepare for this video. Like, I have no excuse. Let's uh, just scroll up, spawn it in on Scarlet Dawn so I remember how to do things. Okay, there we go. Where it goes. And now the King's Stead has woken up. If it actually managed to hit it with cram cannons. Okay, and. So very inaccurate. But if it does. Look at this. That I don't know how many. Jeez. That is. So that is over. Yeah. So over two hundred metal beams, or something. Because at two hundred blocks of metal, most of them being full four meter metal beams, are just gone in one shot. And and this thing missed. Only half of those particle cannons it has, it like hits at all. This is what it did! This thing hurts like hell! And that's not all, because it has a surprise in the back of it. You see, as it flies away... Wait for it. Ah, yes. Huh. Did it? It didn't do it. Oh, you cheeky... Spin block exploit using piece of garbage. Yeah, so it has a... Uh, you can see... Like, yeah, you can't really see it. Ah, there. See? Right where my reticule's at. That's a spin block. Uh, these, uh, the back of this thing is mounted on spin blocks. And I thought it was meant to uh, open up to let the missiles out. Apparently you can just fire missiles straight through them. Cheaty bastard. Nick! Or one of the devs, fix that please. That's, that's bollocks. Anyway, so it sprays a huge amount of missiles out of its ass, just like the Omega Nightmare. And these are, missiles aren't amazing, they're just little radar guarded frag missiles. I don't th even think they have, like, proper, well, I, I say proper, like, any additional guidance, like target protection guidance or APN or anything like that. They're just boring missiles, but yeah, they hurt like hell on the way out. So it means that coming and going uh, the nightmare really, really hurts. And... Yeah, that's basically it. And also you'll notice it changes altitude on approach. This is a... I have not even tried to master this trick, so if we track it along there, you see... Altitude it's at. So let's just look here. So it changes altitude right over the target. There, it just disintegrated a whole bunch of stuff again. Did it just knock off... No, it didn't knock off two turrets. That'd be silly. But yeah, this thing is very much a bomber. 
It is designed, that is what it's designed for. It's designed to fly over, uh, shoot with those short range particle cannons, and then just dump a whole lot of missiles out the back. That's pretty much it. Uh, it also has shields on it, so I should probably uh, load it in so we can look at the shields, because I keep forgetting to look at shields um, when I'm looking at craft. It, excuse you. So, oh, shield, 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 so, alpha, so it's got a few shields, uh, it's got uh, Hikari style shield folding nonsense, and this is a strength 4, and so is, that's a strength 5, strength 5, strength 4, Got some on the sides here that are mounted on turrets. Cheeky cheeky. Strength 5. And guessing this is also strength 5. So, reasonably well shielded on the front. So, it's a. Uh, it's uh, not terrible uh, shielding. Like, strength 5 and 4 is about actually the minimum uh, shield strength you need for shields to be effective uh, in this day and age. Uh, yeah, by the way, keep a close eye, keep an eye, just before you start watching uh, videos like this of mine, on the date it was uploaded. Because From the Depths is scheduled to be fully released in September, and there's going to be various updates, like changing how a lot of things work. And shields, at the moment, as of time of recording, they are crap. If they're below strength 4 or 5, they might as well, they're just a waste of power and material, so don't bother. This is the minimum, however, this thing flies very fast, and shields uh, get less effective. Uh, so let's go, that's 700 strength shell, so shield velocity, it drops quite a bit. So we're going to right here, it drops, so 1, 2, 1, 2, drop down to here, and shield velocity, like... If the shell is about 300 meters per second, and it goes to 100, what was that number? 160? Yeah, the probability of ricochet of things, uh, the shield actually reflecting anything, is very, very poor. Except, these are disruption shields, I just noticed. They don't reflect stuff. Well, the strength 5, interesting, the strength 5 shields are reflect, but the strength 4s are disrupt. By the looks of it. Yes! Interesting, interesting. I really need to play with disruption shields a bit more, simply because... I know, I've never really used them. Except this one is a disrupt. Interesting, interesting. So, that's pretty much it for the strengths. It is... Uh, the Nightmare is a one-trick pony. It is very fast. It is a compact, hard... No, let's get you out of the water. And... Let's uh, reset your shields. So they do not offend mine eyes. You. Okay, so on to the weaknesses of this thing, because it actually has quite a few. So let's go sit on it. So first things first, and this is the thing I was noting down earlier, is that you'll notice that this thing has barely been spawned in for... I don't even know how long. Uh, a minute, maybe? And look how much fuel it's burnt through. It, it's fuel because it's uh, reasonably small and compact. It doesn't carry much fuel, and those custom jets on the back, they burn through fuel very quickly. As does, well, just everything. So if we look at the innards of this thing again, it's a fuel-hungry thing. Like the entire length of it is taken up with the CJEs, uh, custom jet engines, big thirsty injector engines, uh, powering absolutely everything. It even has deadly blades in here. Are these used for steering? I think they are. Wow, I learn new things every time I go in here. Any case, uh, what was I saying? Ah, yes, so custom jets, big thirsty engines, uh, power hungry shields, uh, power hungry particle cannons, power hungry ammunition processors, because I believe. Yeah, it has a few of them in the front here. Yeah, it has a lot. Whoa, look at this. Lots and lots of ammo processors. And all that uses power, and this thing burns through fuel like no just while I've been talking you can actually see it 
Uh, drain. That's pretty rare. It's not usually perceptible with a lot of craft. With this, you can see it tick down really fast. It just it is burning through the carboniferous uh, coal and oil deposit deposits. Like, did the carboniferous even happen on Nature? I don't even know. Paleontology joke for you. So in any case, this thing falls out of the air within about 10 minutes if you just leave it alone and let it do its thing. It also has no countermeasures or land systems on it. So if I do this and if I spawn something in with... Let's spawn in... I think... Oh wait, no, it's broken. So what's something that really spits out missiles? Not the Asphodel. Uh, the Spectre. So... You firing or what? What the hell just happened? Uh, okay. So let's try that again. Oh, everything's gone wrong. Why do these tests never go according to the way I plan? I already know the answer. It's because I don't plan them. Hey, <laughs> hey. Okay, so Spectre, because that thing has missiles, and that's all I want. It won't be able to hit the Nightmare at all. But I just want to show off a very important thing that the Nightmare does not have. So, you'll notice it is uh, flying away, getting really close to getting in the water. And... You'll notice it is not spitting out any countermeasures... In fact, I don't think it even has any munition warners on it. Yeah, so you look around here. Yep, nope, 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 no passive sensors or anything like that. Nope, nope. So this thing has no missile defense at all. It's got no decoys, it's got no countermeasures, it's got no land system at all, whatsoever. None, nada. And that's f fair enough, you might think, because the thing is a flying brick made out of heavy armor. And it's very, very fast. Most missiles cannot catch it, as you're well seeing it right here. The problem with that is this thing was designed back in the days when missiles could barely tickle things like this. They hit a lot harder these days. And oh my god, is it going to hit? Nope. Oh well. Oh, oh. Well, that looked... Whoa, jeez, like... It's easy to forget just how powerful particle cannons can be if you just go insane with the amount of resources. Oh my word. Yeah, the, the nightmare hurts a lot if it hits, so don't let it hit you. And now there's more fine there's more fine things with that. Well, you would have noticed already that the particle cannons are very short range and it needs to fly... Actually, let's uh, spawn that thing in again. Let's learn things together. Learn, learn, learny, 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 learny. So let's spawn you in. And caps lock. Don't go anywhere. So I think if I was clever, which I am sometimes, where is the local weapon controller for you? Where is the local weapon controller? Oh, there it is. Okay, so local weapon controller. Let's see what it says. So maximum range is 340. Very short range. Minimum number of blocks, so any, so it goes exclusively for big things. Very short range, and does it have firing restrictions on this thing? It does not, so it can aim up, but at very short range. So if you stay, what is the range again? So, what was it? What was it? What was it? If you can consistently stay three on, uh, about 340, 350 meters away from this thing, or attack it with things that are fewer than 400 blocks, it can't do anything to you because of the way these local weapon controllers are set up. Likewise, these missiles back here aren't going to win any awards for sophistication, so they're very, very simple. It's just, it's the radar seeker, fins, fins, fuel tank, lots of frags with uh, uh, one very narrow cone and two wide ones for maximum damage. Variable thruster set, I think this is slightly above average. And so these missiles are not actually dedicated uh, anti-air missiles. They're just, they're cheap. I say cheap. They're spammy things for firing a craft that are, uh, that this thing has just blown to pieces with particle cannons. These are the uh, spicy cherry on top of the 
uh, delicious pack sauce. I don't know why I came up with that analogy. Maybe I'm hungry, you'll never know. So in any case, these missiles cannot hit anything fast, and I will demonstrate that right now by spawning in something fast. So let's spawn something. What is a fast thing? Uh, let's spawn in... Let's spawn in a tachyon. No, not a tachyon. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's spawn in... Let's spawn in a dagger. Let's see what happens. So no guidance systems on those missiles means that that is a killer. And the dagger isn't even particularly far. It's going to get nailed by particle cannons. I just knew it. Okay, we want something a little bit faster than that. So if I go... What am I loading in? Nightmare. So if I do this... Faster, faster, faster. What's fast? I'm fast, dammit. Let's spawn in. Yeah, Falcon, this flies fast. And. Yep, there we go. So, yeah, the Scott, the Steel Striders planes have been updated a little bit. Whoa, that thing slows down with the. Um. What? Uh, that is not- Whoa, there we go! Whoa! Okay. Well, something- Well, you get the idea anyway. If you're faster than that and keep your distance, it's, uh, easy to do. Why does this always happen? My testing always proves me wrong, but only on camera. Any but, so we get black on here. It's because... No countermeasures. And... Short range. Uh, on its weapons, like even the missiles. And you'll notice there are gaps in the heavy armor, and this is a critical flaw in this, because heavy armor, as I've said numerous times before, it needs consistent plating. Well, it needs to be a fully formed box around something in order to do its job properly. If there's any weak points, uh, what tends to happen is that it gets... It's, it's just a weak point, and that gets destroyed first, and then the heavy armor is rendered useless. So, if you look at the front here, this big metal pointy bit at the front is a lot weaker than the metal, than the heavy armor behind it. And it does have a solid panel of heavy armor right behind it, but there are still holes in it. Right here, for instance, there is a hole into this uh, heavy armor box, and that is right next to the AI, or at least some AI components. One of the AIs right here. and. I think, let's just check actually, that is channel 1, so what's that controlling? Is that controlling? Yeah, that's controlling the particle cannons right there. So if you hit this thing right in the face, uh, through this little thruster here, and by the way, huge jet engines, a health of 1800, armor of 10, is way less tough than this heavy armor slope, which is but almost as much health and about four times as much armor. So this is a weak point. And same here. This one's worse because it's underneath it. This is where it's going to get shot at a lot. Explosions can pop through this hole and ruin this thing's life from the front, which is why it's got shields on the front, as a matter of fact. And elsewhere as well. So you see here, there's a gap in the heavy armor. It is mostly contained, except, uh, yep, little gaps here and there even if the heavy armor survives other things do not here's a, a metal beam right there here th these are gaps metal is tough but these will get destroyed before these heavy armor slopes and that is a corridor straight into the squishy bits right here and as soon as I said that, the devs are probably going to update this thing so it doesn't have that. I don't know why it has it in the first place. I mean, look at this. This is right underneath it. It's on the sides, which means it shouldn't get hit that often because this thing is a front sider, bomber. Uh, what did I say? Top sider. No, bottom sider. That's it. So this is a nice little, well, squishy compared to the heavy armor window right into the innards right here. And there's so many things that you never want to get shot at in here. It's very compact. If around, 
if an explosive round or missile gets in here, this thing's dead. This is also very, very squishy. And what else, what else, what else? You also notice it's attack pattern, so if I do that, and if I spawn in our friend the King's Dead again, whoop! Please don't uh, crash from the depths. So, we're here, whoops. Let's go over here so we can see this thing work. So this thing turns in big circles and adjusts altitude, but still, it is a bomber. It attacks in straight lines once it gets rounded up. Uh-oh. So right here is not a good example because it kind of turned into this. And right there, you see, it was at the wrong angle to bring its uh, particle cannons to bear. Did manage to dump some missiles. Wow, that is impressive. That's these missiles for you, like, uh, no guidance systems and being dumped all at once. Some of them just knock each other out of the way. So not optimal missile design on this thing, but I'm not complaining. This thing is annoying enough as it is. See, from the front, this thing comes towards the target in almost exactly a straight line, which means that that is the point where you can shoot it with kinetic weapons. So that, that is the fault, like, it doesn't matter how fast a bomber is, it does need to fly straight at its target most of the time, which is why the craft that I build that kind of do the job of bombers, even if they technically aren't bombers, they don't do that, they just endlessly circle right over the top of something. So right here, straight line, it is uh, Tokyo drifting a little bit, but not enough, you might find. What else, what else? Uh, the fact that it only fires missiles behind it is uh, not a great thing as well, because as I was saying before, if you can manage to keep the thing pointing its nose at you, just through being fast enough just to consistently ruin its attack run, it can it will never let loose its missiles. So, that's an important thing to note. And another thing is that uh, this thing is about to run out of fuel, it looks like, so I am going to destroy the Kingstead. And we are going to just wait, yep, and there it goes. We have run out of fuel, and there is a major problem with this craft that all Scarlet Dawncraft share, is that once they're in the water, they have no way of getting out, and because they use so much heavy armor, they sink like rocks. Like, really, like, they sink so fast. If this thing stops flying for any reason, down it goes. And because it burns through its fuel, like, I, did anyone time that? Like, when the point where I spawned this thing in to the point it ran out of fuel. Like, it, it's, it falls out of the sky very, very quickly. It's, like, inefficient in that way. Okay, so, that's its weaknesses. It's got a few, so it's not actually the most dangerous thing the Scarlet Dawn uh, has to offer. But it is, like, really shocking. Like, like pretty much everything in Most Wanted. Uh, the craft that get featured in these series, it is... A real nightmare, ah uh -uh. see what I did there, if you're not prepared for it, or if you don't know that it exists. But now you do, and knowing is half the battle, G.I. Joe. So, how do you survive this thing? Well, you need two things. You need block spam to handle the particle cannons, and you need missile defense. So, we're going to, uh, what can I do here? What is a th fat thing? What's a what's a really big craft? I don't actually want to spawn in a really big craft, but mm. basically, uh, if you don't have if your craft don't have the ability to consistently stay over 340 meters away from this thing, just be big, just be big. Lots lots of layered blocks to just kind of basically brute force uh, tough out that uh, particle cannon barrage and good aim point spoofing so gonna demonstrate that in a second and if you have good missile defense or hell just fly fast enough to avoid those missiles the missiles aren't really a problem those are essentially they're almost like unguided rockets except the fact they're radar guided and so yeah decoys lambs speed whatever works for missiles will work against the missiles on the nightmare Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. That's going to get demonstrated a little bit. So how do you kill it? And there's a number of... You have three main options for this. You have 
lasers, obviously, because lasers are good against fast craft. You have specific formulas of advanced cannon, and you have missiles. So we're gonna cover the laser first. So if I spawn in our friend the nightmare, and I'm gonna spawn in uh, though some of you might remember this thing, some of you might be new to some of you. Uh, the my go-to laser craft. Where the hell is the nightmare? I want to. Hello, 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 hello. Don't know why you say goodbye. I say hello. There we go. Now I'm singing the Beatles. And this thing also spawns in funny. Like when you spawn in the designer, it spawns kind of pointing northeast, which is weird. But I guess it's manageable enough. Okay, so if we go over here and we spawn in our old friend, where are you? Ship, ship, ships. And uh, not, no, hovercraft, hovercraft. There we go, there we go. And here is the wadget, recently updated with fresh PIDs, lightning hoods. Where you go, lad? And go. So the headbagging thing is hopefully going to get fixed in the laser update, which we will mention before. And you can already see the Nightmare is losing blocks really fast. So, lasers, at as of right now, important to note, as of right now, they do not care about armor. You can have the armor penetration lasers easily go up to 80, which can does full damage to heavy armor blocks. So, this uh, lasers, like on the Wadjet, for instance, they don't care about all this heavy armor. They really do not. So, if you do that... And at that moment, the angle was just good enough. And you can see there, there, the missile decoys work. The block spam thing isn't uh, even being demonstrated that well right now. But you'll hopefully get to see that in a second. Or not, as this thing goes into death. That's a strength of this, I forgot to mention. This thing, like a lot of fast craft, it drives like crazy when it's damaged. So yeah, this is not a fair matchup at all. The Wadjet eats this thing alive. However, if this thing ever gets in range to use this particle, come on, I want I want the people to see this. Come on, Nightmare. Wow. And let's just pause and look in here. What a decent... Lasers are ridiculously strong in this game. So it's just blown off the whole front of it. It has crippled one particle cannon. It's crippled both of them, actually. And, well, never mind then. And missiles got fired off once. It's just... And look, look. This was heavy armor. Slopes right here. Just blown right off. So... Armor, like... This is not a smart way to armor craft, by the way. You need active defenses. Armor only takes you so far. Just look at that. Look at that. Absolutely gutted. Completely. Just heavy armor falling like rain. And I'm not showing off the wadget too much. This is... Uh, setting up a laser system like this isn't... I hesitate to say it's not hard to do, but it's not especially difficult to do. And, like, there you go. If this thing is below 80% health and it sinks, it's gone. It's dead. It is... Like, fight's over. Like, go home, have a cup of tea. Mmm, tea. So that's one way to do it. It's just... Well, I demonstrated most of the ways to defend against it, so... Block spam didn't really get shown off, but suffice to say that uh, the wadget's made of wood. And because Impact doesn't really care about armor stacking, what works is block spam. So it's got, I think, about five layers of wood right over this rear area here where it has ammunition. So probably, I think it's like three layers of wood or something. But basically, lots of cheap blocks are your go-to for dealing with thump damage which is what those particle cannons do. So yeah, on to advanced cannons. Now, I experimented a little bit. There's uh, three things that kind of work in the advanced cannon front. Whoops, not that one. There's three things that work. Ignore the... Uh, by the way, simple lasers do not work at all for the following reason. It's just that the nightmare just... Excuse you. The Nightmare flies too fast for the lasers to kind of uh, charge up and take aim. Unless you're probably flying on a craft that can stick right next to it. And that's not a good idea, because the particle cannons will then shoot you. So we'll go over here. Doop, doop, and doop, and doop, and 
doop, doop, and doop, and doop, and doop, doop. Great talents because great talent colors are cool. Turn off the weapons. And also, simple ways is just kind of don't do enough damage. So we go. So they can hit it, but they're not doing that much. Also, they're just going to fry my own bleeding detection hole oh, right there. So that did nothing, so simple lasers are not the way to go. Uh, if you're going to have lasers, do the big lasers, do the real lasers. But advanced cannons are an option, so let's go back to here. And so. Number of things, so if we go here and ignore the title of this thing, by the way. So this is a battery. So this doesn't, you don't have to use this many uh, advanced cannons. I just uh, made one small one and like placed it five times. You can have one big one. This is 200 millimeter timed frag to set to 180 degree angles on the fragments. This works reasonably well, but, and this is important, but. The detections on this is... Actually, why the hell was it there? It should be set reasonably low because of the because of that thing the Nightmare does where it changes direction at the very last second and changes altitude at the very last second. It's important to keep the, these slightly on the lower side uh, as far as I'm aware with testing as well. Simply because if you leave it up here, it, the bearing averaging time it just it ends up undershooting the target by quite a bit. So we go way over here, and you'd think timed frag wouldn't really do much to the the nightmare simply because it's covered in heavy armor. It isn't a perfect solution, but it certainly can do the trick. So if we go, where is it? Should have just saved this somewhere else. More than lightning hoods, and disable the weapon so it doesn't kill me. So these guns are set to a maximum range of 1,500 meters. So you can see already, there. whoopsie daisy, uh, blocks are being knocked off right there. There's, what happened there? I think a particle cannon uh, got its uh, butt clipped a little bit. I think timed fragments also have a very annoying habit of going through things they shouldn't be able to. So this thing is, it popped it's some missiles somewhere. And it's gone basically straight through this heavy armor layer. So I think that's a bug. I'm not sure how that happened. Like, I'm not sure, but like, how does that... I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know, man. And you see right here. Oh, that's it. That's game. Uh, the nightmare, I think, is... Okay, lost 5% health in one run. And here's, well... Assuming whatever hypothetical craft we have that has these uh, uh, quadruple pyramid headed guns on survive that attack run, the nightmare is going to come back. Nope, never mind. So this thing is pretty easy to knock out of the sky. However, if it is above 80% health and it does this, this is why bring your torpedoes along. So you might think, like, once you're done with the other factions and the Grey Talons and the Scarlet Dawn are all that's left that you can shelf torpedoes because everything they have flies. Don't do that. When something like this happens, you need your torps to finish the job because this thing's never coming back up to the surface again. Okay, so that's time frag. It can work pretty well. Important thing to note is that 200 millimeters might actually be a bit too high a gauge because you want something that can uh, track the thing very quickly. So, I'd go much lower. I would actually recommend going to about 100 millimeters time frag, because fragment is just very strong. Okay, so, just for the sake of completeness, I'm going to show you how this works with flak, because this worked better than I thought it did, would. And keep in mind that 200 millimeter flak isn't that great. It's 188 uh, flak damage, and has a radius of about 34, so that's not amazing. With flak, you want to go, like, a bit higher. So 300, now we're talking. Uh, 400 damage, 51 radius, and 400 is really where it's at. Uh, 700, 500 might be a little bit much, but don't let me stop you. Uh, fire rate might be a little terrible. So, flak is 
I don't know, maybe it's just time shields that have a habit of getting places they shouldn't be able to reach. But, especially since you notice that if you're aiming for the rear of the Nightmare, uh, fast shells tend to scoot uh, straight past the shields on the front of it. Handy thing to know. Oop. So, wait for it, wait for it. It's going to eat up that distance very quickly. So, let's see. So, already you see blocks flying off. What fell off there? That was a heavy... That was a metal block. What is that? Can't even tell what that is, but it's important. Oh, that's material storage. There's material storage in the back here. And it looks like it got down. How did that happen? I don't know. There must be some imperceptibly tiny hole in the back here. Also, these spin blocks. Another hole in the heavy armor. If you hit this thing in the rear, it does not do well. Oh yeah, that's game. Oh, yep. There's one of the particle cannons gone. Yeah, so flak actually works a lot better than I thought it would, simply because that the radius on flak shells is so big, it can sneak in every possible nook and cranny. So I think right here is where that happened. There was a thing right there, and it got popped. And at the very least, so 97... It's now at 97% health, and is it going to ditch into the ocean? It might very well do that. And if it does that... Where is it? Are you going to be coming back anytime soon? I completely forgot to mention the uh, aesthetic smoke on... Oh no, please don't do that thing I think you're going to do. Sometimes uh, craft like this, uh, when they get damaged, they just keep flying in a straight line forever, and that is really, really annoying. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. So hopefully what happens here is that it flies over and these guns just pop up and... Okay, no. Apparently not. So yeah, time shell's not so great on the retreative side of things. So, that's option number two. It can work. Uh, not really well, I should say. And now I'm going to destroy this fortress and show off another shell that works reasonably well. So this is all 200 millimeter. You don't uh, don't feel the need to restrict yourself specifically to that gauge or that uh, shell size. So those were two meter shells. So right here, where we were, test fortresses, uh, 200 millimeter heat. Now this is. Uh, a problem. You probably need much faster shells than this in order to actually make this effective. But, so, what is this? This is exactly the same guns as before, so 2 meter long shells, 200 millimeters. This is a heat shell, so it's got a penetration metric of about 40, which means it can go through heavy armor. Important to note. And like a lot of heavy armor bricks that are very compact, the Nightmare is vulnerable to shaped charge shells, to heat shells. If you can hit it, that's the trick. So if we go in here, nature. How many times have I done this? Probably going to do this a lot, this video. So, spawn in great talents because sexy colors. Oh, oh. And now we wait. So immediately the problem you have here is because these aren't timed shells, they will miss a lot. So you can see they're just gonna whiff under there because the thing has just decided to uh, dip up a little bit more. But if your detection system is right, it should adjust reasonably well. And yep, look at that. Already you can see particle cannons flying off. You can see custom jet components flying off. And where did that hit? So it hit right in the rear. So right here, I think. Yeah, it's taking bits off. Yep, okay, hello. That's a weak, oh, that explains everything. There's a nice big uh, weak point right here, unless that's just damage. I don't know. I don't know, I just work here. Yeah, so that is pretty good. It's only, only lost 2% health, but as you can see, let's go look at the debris a little bit. So, that custom jet component, uh, uh, local weapon controller, another custom jet component, 
lots of custom jet components, and particle cannon pieces. Those are very essential uh, components of that craft. And yep, down it goes. It is now sinking. So the Nightmare is one of those uh, all-or-nothing craft that tend to crop up a lot at godly difficulty in the later stages of the NATO campaign. It's all-or-nothing. If it loses any components at all, it basically stops working the way it's supposed to. There's no redundancy on this thing. Which means if you can hit it and get through this heavy armor wrapping, it will die! So now, uh, we're almost uh, done with this. But first things first, I want to show you two missile solutions to this. So, go back to here, test fortresses, so on. Uh, if you remember my uh, video on the Omega Nightmare, which is this thing's uh, uh, fatter, dumber cousin, these are slightly modified versions of the missiles used then. They have both target prediction guidance and APN guidance. These things work together now. It works really well, actually. Because it uses the target projection for most of it, and it's only once it gets close and uses APN to ensure a hit. These things have magnets. Uh, magnets aren't as good as they used to be. Lots of frags, though, with very narrow angles. And the reason for that is you want to get through at least one layer of heavy armor, and... But, so... only Frags are still capped at 60, so... 60 frags, but double this number. So each fragment does a thousand damage. That is enough. That is easily enough to get through a layer of heavy armor and wreck whatever is behind it. So, if we go way over here, spawn in our friend the Nightmare again. Gods, I'm talking a lot. My throat's starting to feel a little bit raggedy. Teach me for not warming up and not having a glass of water. Hmm. So, go here, turn this off. So, 2,500 is the range for this thing because you need these missiles up in the air, locked on target and moving before this thing is right on top of you. So away it goes, away it goes, away it goes, away it goes. Most of them should hit. So that is, well, it took out, uh, I think, yep, as predicted, it managed to take out the AI controlling the uh, particle cannons right in the front here. This is actually a major oversight to have such an important component not behind heavy armor, it's just in front here. If aim point spoofing was a thing, I guess uh, that wouldn't be an issue. But yeah, this is an issue. And look at all this stuff in here. I think that those frags actually penetrated uh, the heavy armor, because you can see this damaged heavy armor blocks. But behind it, oh dear, there's massive holes in here. I don't know if this is intentional or a bug, it seems. A little bit overpowered for fragments to be able to get through heavy armor like this, but that's what it does, so can ensure that works. So that's one kind of way to do it, and you'll notice that uh, I think the nightmare has slowed down a lot by over 60 meters per second. And are you going to ditch into the water? Are you going to do that? No, you're not. You're going to come around again. Oh, you're a glutton for punishment, uh, Mr. Nightmare, which I spawned in. Yep, and there, here come the missiles again. They can lock on. They ran out of fuel because this thing's now in a death spin. So, screw that. We don't have time for that. So now, I will demonstrate the other missile solution. Because medium missiles are all very well, but when you're dealing with pointless overkill like the Nightmare, I think it's okay for you to indulge in a little pointless overkill yourself. So... This is something I was working on, and I'm reasonably pleased with. These are large anti-aircraft missiles. So, these are the big missiles. They're two meters across, and they're explosive. So, no frags here, just uh, 120,000 points of high explosive damage. And just lots of impact damage as well. So, 55 there times max speed of 186 is a high number. I don't know what that number is. You can figure it out yourself. I'm not going to pull up my calculator. Reasonably good turning and APN target prediction guidance. That's important. And on a turret, so it's pointing straight on there. And just for fun, uh, while I was messing around with this, I made a similar version of this, and this is the torpedoes to finish things off. Uh, this is 160,000 HE damage. And this thing works against uh, most uh, tough flyers. 
Uh, there's a whole category of, like, armored thruster craft in the game. Mostly used by... Well, it's the Lightning Hoods and Scarlet Dawn that really use them. The Hypatos is one of them. So if we go here, and not, no, not that major. Back here, Scarlet Dawn, Nightmare, so convenient. And let's, uh, let's go White Flavors. Because color. Whoop, nope. I need to be in the hot seats. So we're here, and I love the, uh, these missiles are staggered so that they all fire, they enough of a gap between them so they don't knock each other off, and okay, one of the missiles missed, aha, uh -huh, but one of them managed to do this. Everything in here is gone, so even if it doesn't die on this attack run, which it probably is going to, it can't use its particle cannons anymore. And what happens to this next one? Oh god. Yeah, that's a lot of important stuff. Where'd that hit? Yep, it's right in there. Seriously, seriously, people, like, the new missiles are unbelievably strong. Like, th that is a solid wall of heavy armor there. Multiple layers, actually, if you come at it like this, and that missile just ate it like it was nothing. Took out a lot of the steering, took out vital components, and here's the last missile. What's it gonna do? Uh oh. Yep, it just took out the SJE. Please don't collide with my platform, I'm gonna be very annoyed. Nope. Down it goes, and there's the torpedoes. And it's sinking. Didn't even manage to get over once, so I think, uh, if you really want to hate this thing on to kill it, something like this, this setup, just works really, really well, because the thing didn't even get to fly over us, and it's dead. That's actually one of the better tests I've done for it. And... I want to do that again because I love watching this thing work and so let's go way over here I'd go into detail on the craft but like if you know how to work missiles you can experiment with that like big missiles big missiles man they're there they are the best thing to take on overkill thrustercraft like this so firing really close to the water so and Let's get up real close, and actually, let's, uh... Yeah, half speed. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Mm, love it. Tasty, tasty damage. Tasty damage. Tasty damage. Look at that. Oh, yes. Are we in? Are we in it to win it? Not quite yet. Uh, missile number three, what are you gonna do? Oh, yes. Oh, so tasty. It's actually not doing as well as th thought. I think the missiles might actually be warping through layers of heavy armor. Or not. What? Oh, dearie me. Rem this used to be this full. And now it's this full. It's like, when that missile hit, it's like someone... It's like having a carton full of water and cutting it in half. That's how fast this thing got emptied. If this thing can still fly after that, I'll be highly amazed. Yep, there it goes. She's gonna sink. Jeez, look at the block confetti. I really like large missiles. I like small missiles, large missiles, and medium missiles are okay, but ye freaking gods. Okay, let's get back to max speed. How are you still flying? I've got an answer for that. You're not going to be much longer. Oh, please don't ruin this video and... Nope, you're turning. Okay. You're turning, you're turning, you're turning. Good boy. Good boy or girl. I, I don't know. Good spacecraft. Good... Nope. Uh, y yes. No. <gasps> yes. Right. Slow motion again. I'm just having fun right now. I could have ended the video about five... Oh, nope. Nope, there you go. In the water you go. And cue the torpedoes. And let's speed this up a bit. Whoa, what did the missiles actually manage to hit it? So yeah, I am finding more and more that uh, 
big torpedoes, big missiles. Spectacular bang for buck, and one of, they're gonna knock each other off. Is this thing gonna go to 80%? Not quite, but uh, missile number two. Are you kidding me? That is a bug, which unfortunately happens a fair amount. Um, where missiles just bounce off. Oh, now you're hiding behind a hill. Gosh, dang it. Come on. Okay, like, I know I should end the video right now, but I really want to watch this thing die. Does that sound slightly creepy and weird? Also, it's weird how sonar can see through land. Oh, no, don't get turned around. Oh, you... Dang it. That's very annoying. One more attempt. Come on. Come on. The probability is there. We all want to see this thing die. We all want to see a torpedo to death. Who among us has uh, been frustrated multiple times? Okay, I should put rubber wheels on you. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Money, 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 money. Are you what the hell? Okay. I think that's uh, that's it for this video. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I hope you learned something from it. And I will see... Well, I hope you learned from it and had fun with it. I certainly did. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Most Wanted. Are these torpedoes actually going to make it? Please make it. And please, when you do... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Are you sinking... Oh my god, you're not sinking yet. Come on. Come on. One block more. <gasps> yes, please. Please, spaghetti. I don't know why I said spaghetti. Yes. Yes, that's what we like. On that note, farewell.